okay so the next topic is uh, dsw algorithms related to binary search trees okay so first uh, let me show you what is uh, uh, this unbalanced tree and balanced tree and what is a dsw balanced tree then it is easy to understand what is this uh, dsw algorithm does so we know that uh, binary search tree has a specific code that uh, when it is inserting a data so let's say there are three uh, nodes corresponding to xyz then y must be less than s and c must be greater than s so that is the uh, rule of binary search tree so when you are following this specific order uh, our tree our binary search tree can go at any height so this can be maybe a height of uh, three levels or maybe four levels or any kind of a n height okay well this height is caused to uh, data retrieval or data searching or deleting efficiency it, it, it causes a performance issue because uh, later when we are discussing binary search tree we uh, we give a solution for this matter as well for now just remember if a tree height is very high and the tree is not bushy not bushy means uh, the nodes are not in consecutive manner so if the height is very large then such a binary search tree is not efficient to access okay therefore we must balance such a binary tree so if we balance such a binary tree then that binary tree will become uh, some sort of a bushy binary tree then uh, we can consider that nodes are existing in consecutive manner which is uh, highly efficient so that is the basic idea about this dsw balancing so we are basically balancing a binary search tree so this is the initial unbalanced tree so this can be some kind of a uh, balanced tree like this but it is not dsw balanced because in order to uh, dsw balance it must follow this specific code where uh, we can see that uh, let me change the color where we can see that uh, the order of uh, nodes <coughs> sorry the order of nodes are left to right uh, and that is the field order so in here the leaf nodes are filled in in a dynamic manner there is no node there is no node but in a dsw uh, in, in order to uh, fill the corresponding leaf node it must start at the left side and it goes to the right side right? so it's basically a left biased binary search tree left biased binary search tree okay uh, and uh, note that uh, this uh, balancing will only take uh, the linear time complexity which is the order of n we go in uh, which is very efficient okay. so we have the two concepts when it comes to uh, tree balancing the first one is global tree balancing second one is uh, local tree balancing so basically uh, global tree balancing indicate this DSW algorithms and later on we discuss the local tree balancing so it uh, determine this uh, AVL trees and red black trees and those are special types of binary search trees uh, we have, we, and those are following local tree balancing procedures okay but in this case we are only following this global tree balancing paradigm which is dsw okay so dsw algorithm has uh, can uh, part uh, can be divided to uh, two parts the first one is creating the backbone second one is uh, balancing that created backbone okay uh, and these are the underlying concept which it uh, which, which, which we use in the dsw algorithms so we have the proper understanding about bs binary search trees and how they uh, works and tree rotations so there can be uh, left rotations right rotations or things like that and uh, yeah we need uh, some other uh, stuffs as well so those are the 
basic two type uh, basic uh, two parts the first we have to create the backbone then we can uh, balance that corresponding backbone then we will have uh, the dsw balanced binary search tree so uh, this is the uh, node structure that we are going to use so this is the exact same node structure that we used in the uh, binary search trees so a no there is a node so this node has two pointers yeah, left and right and it has some kind of a data value let's say x so we store our data over here and this left side will point it to some some other node and this right pointer will point to some other uh, node okay so it will go uh, like that so that is the basic node structure so this is the inserting paradigm uh, which we discussed uh, in the uh, first uh, episode as well so this is just a binary search tree insertion so first we look at the corresponding uh, empty node so empty pointer therefore we can uh, store that uh, new node uh, so until we found the corresponding position we move our data uh, to left side or right side so if our data is uh, less than uh, root data then it will go to the left side so if our data is uh, greater than so this data me uh, so suppose this x is my data okay so this is my data and this data is existing data existing data so this is my data okay so my data is greater than the existing data the corresponding node then uh, such a data will be passed to the right side okay? that's just a binary search tree order then if we found the corresponding null position which means let's say uh, something like this and this both pointers are null pointers so we can store uh, a new node from this position or maybe this position okay. that is the insertion insert node so basically it will create a new node and it will put the new value to the corresponding node data pointer and it will make the left and right pointers as null because it's just newly created node okay. So that's the inserting procedure of the DSW algorithm. Okay. So in the next video, let's discuss these rotations as well. Otherwise, the the video will be too much long. Okay. So I'll see you in the next video.